On his first ever visit to the UAE, this is the first by an Israeli premier, Prime Minister Naftali Bennett has met Abu Dhabi's Crown Prince, Zayed Al Nahyan. It is the highest level visit by an Israeli Prime Minister to the UAE since the Abraham Accords declaration. This is the first ever public meeting between a top Israeli leader and the Crown Prince of the Gulf nation. According to Israel's ambassador to Abu Dhabi, the issue of Iran was topping the agenda for the talks. This, along with ways to bolster cooperation between the two sides, and also work towards uh, the improvement of economic ties. Bennett's office has described the talks as historic. As per the UAE state news agency, Al Nayan hoped for better ties with Israel and more positive steps in the interest of people of the region. Upon arrival in Abu Dhabi, Prime Minister Bennett was received by the UAE's Foreign Minister, Sheikh Abdullah bin Zayed, and was welcomed with a guard of honor. The Jewish Prime Minister said he appreciated the warm hospitality. The two countries formalized ties last year and after establishing diplomatic ties, this is the first official visit by a Prime Minister of the Jewish state. While Naftali Bennett is the first Israeli Prime Minister to visit the UAE, Israel's Foreign Minister Yair Lapid made a landmark visit there in June and opened an embassy in Abu Dhabi and a consulate in Dubai. The UAE, meanwhile, opened an embassy in Tel Aviv in July. The Bennett government is also to decide this week on whether to allow a private Israeli Emirati contract to offload Gulf oil in the Red Sea port of Elat. Since the Abraham Accords were signed, Israel and the UAE have inked a series of deals on economic and trade cooperation. On the other hand, Emiratis remain largely in solidarity with the Palestinians and hostile to Israel. This may lead to the UAE's links with the Jewish state becoming more discreet domestically later. No official announcement regarding Bennett's visit was published across Abu Dhabi. The visit comes amid heightened regional tensions as world powers try and revive a 2015 nuclear deal with Iran. Israel has started setting up defenses with Gulf Arab states that share concern over Iranian activities. Bennett has called for the Vienna talks to be halted. The Israeli premier has accused Tehran of nuclear blackmail, adding that any revenue from sanctions relief will be used to bolster a military arsenal that can harm Israel. Prime Minister Bennett's Abu Dhabi visit follows a trip to Washington by Israeli Defense Minister Benny Gantz. Gantz has repeatedly stressed that military options must be ready if negotiations with Iran collapse. The Israeli Foreign Minister Yair Lapid also visited London and Paris last month where he called for tighter sanctions against Tehran. Our correspondent Jody Cohen sent us this report from the Israeli city of Hezlia on Prime Minister Bennett's historic visit to the UAE. History has been made in Abu Dhabi, and I'm not talking about the Formula One Grand Prix. I'm talking about the first ever visit by an Israeli prime minister to the UAE. On the agenda is taking forward the Abraham Accords, the normalization agreements with Israel that the UAE was the first to sign. Regional issues are also being discussed. Following the UAE's visit to Iran last week, it's unclear if they see their role as a regional intermediary or if they're seeking to warm ties with Iran. However, there's been talk of setting up joint defenses between Israel and Gulf Arab states to protect against Iran. And it will be interesting to see what statements come out of the bilateral on Monday. This is Jody Cohn for We On, World Is One. We On now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.